Ukraine's acting president has admitted his forces are helpless to control the unrest driven by pro-Russian activists in the eastern regions of Donetsk and Luhansk and that the goal now is to simply contain it. There are more than a dozen towns in the hands of rebels. With the country's acting president putting troops on full alert for a Russian invasion, his soldiers have been reinforcing their smattering of checkpoints in the east of the country. This one, outside the city of Slavyansk, is more heavily guarded than most, and it's now a permanent presence. The soldiers checking trucks for the movement of weapons. In reality, though, they aren't in control of much more than the road they're standing on out here. Armed pro-Russian militia now call the shots across the region. The police offices in the town of Holivka, the latest building to be taken over. It's the same in almost every town and city. In fact, anywhere of strategic or military value is being taken. Beneath this salt mine in a village on the outskirts of Artemivsk is a huge weapon store, whole kilometres of it underground. Over a million pieces ranging from artillery to Kalashnikov machine guns are here. The pro-Russian supporters have taken it over to keep the weapons safe, they claim. The point is, they are in charge, not the authorities. And they seem popular. Local people bring them food and provisions daily. In the absence of government-imposed authority from the west of the country, the self-styled leaders of the east can do what they want, even taking OSCE military monitors hostage last week. Negotiations are now taking place for their release, but it isn't easy. Across the region, the gunmen are reinforcing their control as the locally organised referendum on breaking away from Kiev nears. Government officials and police, they're getting no orders or advice from Kiev. And just as we saw in Crimea, nobody seems able to do anything about this takeover. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News in eastern Ukraine.